Well, you look remarkably well. For someone who spent days in a laundry hamper. Oh, no hard feelings? Come on. I really, truly wasn't going to hurt you. I'm not that kind of girl. And by girl, you mean kidnapper? Listen, you are getting quite a bundle for your time in trouble. That's the deal. Remember, after the funeral, after the will is read, Henry will get me the money and you, you're going to get your share. Are you sure Henry will come through? Yeah. I'm positive. Leave my son to me, and tonight, you and I are gonna go to bed a whole lot richer than when we woke up. James was killed on your watch, and now your department is covering it up. Oh, we are doing no such thing. There are far more people that wanted him dead than alive, and some of them were conveniently very nearby when he had his fatal heart attack. And if I don't call that a suspicious death, I don't know what is. I agree. Then why was there no autopsy? I don't know. I took a personal day yesterday, but I will look into it. Then you agree with me that there should be official confirmation of death? Yes, I agree with you. And if there's any foul play involved, oh, there we was. will find out who of is responsible and they will be arrested. If it's not too late. Excuse me. Margot Hughes, Oakdale PD. Uh, there's been an error. James Stenbeck's body was released to you before an autopsy could be performed, so we need you to send the remains back to the medical examiner's office right away, please. Oh. Don't tell me. What, is there a problem? Uh, well, I'm afraid Mr. Stenbeck was embalmed this morning. I don't suppose you kept a sample of any bodily fluids. was barely dead. Since when do you work so quickly? Well, it was a special request from his son, Paul. Henry, it's time. I'm sorry. Yeah, things will never be the same as long as she's here in Oakdale. You know, I really think we should all go to the funeral together as a family, and that way we present a united front, not to mention the fact that then we can all be together for the reading of the will. What, the reading the will today? Yes. Why wait? Oh, by all means. Let's get it over with, in case he wakes up again. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. Not this time. No, you would know. OK, OK, all right, let's just, we, we got a funeral to go to, all right? No. It's just so sad. You know, I just got my Jimmy back and just to lose him again. Oh, come on. Don't waste your crocodile tears on us, please. You didn't lose him. You dispatched him. And then you tried to pin it on me. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, I'll say. OK, you know what? Let's, let's just have a truce until after the no, funeral. Is that OK? I'm not promising anything. OK, I am going to be on my best behavior. I promise. So who's paying for all of this anyway? Well, because just because Henry is, is, is James's son doesn't mean he owes him anything. No worries. Big brother Paul is going to pay for the whole thing. You know, he's paying for the tombstone and the casket. In fact, he actually invited all of us over to a little reception at Fairwinds. It's very considerate of him, considering James didn't leave him a dime. <laughs> what were you thinking having James embalmed? Champagne. To celebrate what? You may have just ruined any chance you had of getting your father's money. I did what any normal next of kin would do. I called the funeral home and I ordered a box for dead dad and a hole to put him in. It's all over but the shoveling, mother. If you hadn't been so hasty, there would have been an autopsy and the police would have found out that Audrey killed your father, most likely with Henry's help, and you would have had the entire inheritance coming to you. I don't care how he died. I'm just glad that he did. I want to make sure that he stays dead. So I called the funeral director and I told him to start the embalming ASAP. Your paranoia erased any evidence of foul play. He doesn't care, Barbara. You should have made him care, Emily. He sacrificed his entire future here. There's no sacrifice involved, believe me. Henry is welcome to the money, and he's welcome to the Stenbeck name if he dares. I'm over it. Just like that? No, not just like that. It's taken me years. It's taken me my entire life to get over it. But now that it's finally here, I'm going to enjoy every moment of it. We suffered for years at your father's hand. I'm not going to walk away without anything for it. So what are you going to do? Steal the cufflinks off the body? Better get there before Audrey does. <laughs> you know Audrey thinks 
that little Jimmy's death is her own personal cash box? Well, she's not going to get away with it without a fight. She won't know what hit her. To James Stenbeck, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> no. <laughs> From now on, that's Henry's problem. Uh, I'm I'm the widow Stenbeck. Well, technically I'm not, but in our hearts we really were. Ignore her. Yeah. And, and this is James' son, the one he actually liked. Uh -huh. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? It's not like he hasn't risen from the dead before. Well, he looks extremely dead to me. Well, you know what? You never can be too sure. Let's just get the show on the road, shall we? Uh, will there be any other mourners? We're not mourners, but we're here. Is that him? Oh, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Is that supposed to be some kind of a joke? It's funny. It is. I certainly hope so, too. <laughs> All right, let's make sure the old guy's really dead. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's serious. He's really dead this time. How you feel? I did something completely inappropriate. <laughs> no, I joined him. <laughs> but... Oh, doesn't he look so handsome? Uh, would anyone like to share a memory of the departed? Guess not. Let's put the old guy in the ground. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 my Jimmy. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, come back. Oh, my Jimmy. <laughs> what are you crying about? You killed him. Hey, don't you touch the merchandise. Hey. Oh, you want some more? Come I'm on. Not, but there's a dead body here. Oh, okay. Relax, Pop loved a good cat fight. You do not besmirch my Jimmy's good name. At least slander's not fatal. Oh, I happen to have loved that man with all my heart. You wouldn't know about that because you don't have a heart, do you? What do you run? How do you stay alive? Batteries? You only love James's money, not him. Ah, uh, no. I also loved him in bed. He was the best we could go at it out. Oh, for the love of oh, God, Mother, are we to be spared nothing? Oh, Henry! Stop being so fussy. I have seen your costume collection, right, Sister Vienna? That's what does it for you, Henry? Nuns? Oh, nuns are hot. Paul. It's true. Oh, you know, if you two boys had only inherited half the talent in the bedroom that your dad had. Oh, my had. God. Make it stay. Make it stop, please. Come on, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. No, I never slept with James. Well, that is a shame. Emily, come on, go ahead, tell her. No, 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 don't you drag me into this. I'm, I'm, I'm here to support okay, you, Paul. Okay, enough reminiscing. The caterer is waiting. Oh, come on, come on. You, what? you come say goodbye, say a proper goodbye what to you your daddy. To, what do you want to do, kiss him? Come on. Say it, come on. This is enough, all right? You really want to fight, don't you? Bring it, bitch. No, 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 no bringing, no bringing. Oh. Oh. I guess we bury the guy. Yeah, you know, oh. maybe we should put a stake in his heart just to make sure. Does that thing lock from the outside? I think we're good. Are you, are you coming? Uh, yeah. Just give me a minute to freshen up.
It's showtime. 